I am currently using Piperk my voice as I ran out of 11 labs. There was a comment on my GitHub that mentioned Piper. It said it speeds up TTS locally to almost real time. And that it supports dozens of languages. There was a link to a YouTube video. This video goes over the details of how to install Piper on Windows. I watched all of it, and it is very good. Good day and welcome to this video, where I will show you how you can run Piper TTS or text to speech on your I will leave a link to this video. They also have a GitHub where they open source their own voice for the German language. I'm going to smash that like button and click on the subscribe button. Let's get to installing. This is the GitHub page for Piper. Scroll down and on the right hand side, click on releases. Scroll down to the 2023.9.27-1 section. Then we can expand the assets and download the Piper Windows 64 zip file. You can move it to a convenient location, but for this video I am just going to extract it in the downloads folder. This will create a Piper folder which has the exe file and other required files. On the GitHub page, it mentions we will need to download voices for the supported languages. I am going to go into the en folder to download an English voice. There is a gb and us folder. I will select us for an American accent. This voice has multiple qualities. I will select medium. The higher the quality, the longer the generation takes. We need to download these two files, the onyx file and the json file. I am going to click on the download button next to each file to download it. For some reason, it renames the json file into a text file, so I will need to fix that by changing the extension from text to json. Now I am going to move both of these files into the Piper folder. The Piper folder should now look like these with those two new files added for the voice we downloaded. Here is how we run Piper. I am going to copy this into a text editor. First, we will need to put the command on a single line by deleting the slash and new line. Also delete the dot slash before Piper. Then, let's copy the name of the model file we downloaded and paste it into the model name of our command. Now let's open a command prompt to the folder location where Piper is. So I will copy paste the path and cd to it. And now let's copy paste the command and run it. Hit enter. And it is done. Welcome to the world of speech synthesis. It took about 0 0.5 seconds to generate this audio. I am currently working on a UI for this. It is a work in progress. I will make another video once it is done. But let's have a quick look at what I have so far. I am writing a UI that basically calls the same command, but programmatically. So here is the original Piper EXE which we just used from the command prompt. And here is the UI EXE which calls the original Piper EXE. This folder also contains all of the original files that came with Piper and also the files needed for the UI. I created a models folder to keep all the voice models and an output folder to store all of the generated audio. I am going to run it from Visual Studio. Here is the source code file. And this other tab is a page with a visual of the controls that will be in the UI. There is a drop down for language, voice and quality, a text box for the prompt and a generate button. When you select a language, it will automatically populate the voice drop down with available voices for that language. And when you select a voice, it will automatically populate the quality drop down with the qualities available for that voice. Let's begin by selecting English for the language. This will populate the voice drop down with available English voices. Let's select a random voice from the drop down. Once I select a voice and a quality for that voice, and then enter text in the prompt and click generate, it will check to see if I have that voice downloaded. And if I do, it will just use it. But if I don't, it will first download that model file and JSON file from Hugging Face automatically and then use it to generate the audio and any future audio for that voice. I am going to use this text for the prompt. It is stuck in my head. Here is the models folder, which is currently empty. And if we go back and go into the output folder, it is also currently empty. I am going to go back to the models folder and then click generate to see it download the model. I shouldn't be out here, I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. We see that it automatically downloaded the Onyx and JSON files for the selected model from Hugging Face. I shouldn't be out here, I should be back in school.
and that is the generated audio file. I had recorded a whole bunch more examples with different languages, but since this UI might change by the time I finish, I will remove that for now, and go into more examples once it is ready for use. By the way, I actually quite like this voice, even though the quality won't be the same as Eleven Labs, it generates really fast, and this voice is the exact opposite of my previous voice. From a grumpy old man that screams all the time, to a sweet, very polite little girl. But there is one thing they both have in common. What is it you ask? Ducks. I also love ducks. Anyways, that is all for today, thanks for watching.